holder of fairness. This object will be among the fabled stash of Legion when the time of reunion comes. Legion had lost it, for it has a will of its own, but it knows the call of reunion and will be found again. The seeker who comes upon this object will not be the one who brings them together for the reunion. This is the way in which one will be able to reclaim it. In whatever place you call home, wait until it is dark and all residents of this place are sleeping. This is not necessary. However, anything awake in this abode will be sent straight to hell by the holder himself. After all, he believes it is a fair trade for giving you a chance, albeit slim, at obtaining it. It's highly advised you also obtain a weapon of some kind before attempting the calling. When these precautions have been made, and the time is right, head to your front door and ask to see the holder of fairness. Nothing will happen, at least for you to see, but open the door and walk through it. When you walk outside, you'll find yourself in a long hallway that would look like any hallway of a modest home, sans the length. Feel free to look around as you walk. This holder is very liberal and will allow you to look at his abode as long as you let him look at yours. Just make sure not to touch anything you may see when you're walking, for he will see it fair to touch the things and residents of your own home. When you reach a door, make sure not to touch it or the holder will make sure your own home's door, along with everything else in it, is touched by a recently escaped group of vicious criminals. Now, if you haven't blundered already, ask him to be let in. Ask nicely, or he'll see it fair to rip out your rude tongue and send you back the way you came. You won't die, but you'll never be allowed to speak again, no matter what surgery you go through. If he does let you in, you'll find yourself in a walkway that seems to be above perpetual abyss. Before you will be three things, two of which will be visible. The first is a rapier in a pedestal. The second is a huge stone demon. And the third is something you should not concern yourself with until you have slain the demon, blocking your path. If it hasn't dawned upon you yet, Draw the rapier from the stone. If you're incapable of doing so, the holder will appear before you and push you off the walkway. You'll land on your bed safe and sound. Never look for another object again. You will be destined to fail. Seek other seekers and give them any object you've ever obtained if you want, for they will otherwise seek you. If you hold any intention of continuing your quest, you will be imprisoned until the reunion, which you will be among the first victims of. If you are able to draw the rapier from the pedestal, the demon will begin to come to life. It will have legendary strength and endurance, but do not worry, for the sword has imbued you with equal strength. Be sure to end the fight quickly for your endurance has not been made to match, and when you falter, you will suffer your end here. The only way in which you can conquer this foe is with your wits. The demon's form changes for each person, but its weakness should become apparent rather quickly. Exploit it, and victory will be yours. The demon will fall off the walkway into the abyss. The path before you will be dark, However, do not falter, for the holder has been excited by the fight and sees it fair for him to have some fun, too. You do not want him to be the one to have the first attack. Keep walking until the path lights up and you see a figure before you. This is either the holder or a copy of him. He will have a young appearance, yet have snow-white hair. He will have black eyes which will seem to bore into your soul. If he is missing any of these features, 
He is not the true holder, and you must prepare to slay the copy. The sword will not be able to be used against its master, so drop it and pull out your own weapon. If it is of a ranged variety, fire true whatever projectile it may use. If it is a close quarters weapon, charge with an intent to kill. If your first attack or flurry of attacks fails to kill or incapacitate the copy, you will be killed with a copy of your own weapon. He will not fail. If you do manage to slay the copy, the holder will appear before you. When the true holder is before you, bow and state, Life is never truly fair, preparing yourself for the battle as you speak. He will congratulate you for your victories, and bow, slowly pulling the rapier to him with an unknown force. He will not pick it up. Yet, he will then explain why exactly the world is so unfair. The truth will be unexpected but your sanity should not be affected by its discovery. Make sure not to talk during his explanation, for he has not changed his beliefs in the short time since the hallway. When he is finished, steal yourself and attack with whatever weapon you brought with you. If you're destined to succeed, you will hit him. If you are not, you will appear at your front door with your weapon in hand. Feel free to try his test again when you have altered fate. When your attack hits, he will collapse and fall on the floor. Do not take your eyes off him, else you find yourself impaled by his rapier. Walk up to him if you were not already standing next to him, and offer your hand. If you were standing next to him, Simply extend your hand. He will take it and rise, thanking you for your act of kindness. As a fair payment for the excitement you've given him, the holder will ask to help you on your journeys. You'd be wise to agree, although it is not necessary. If you do agree, he will pick up his rapier, and you will appear at your front door with an empty sheath on your hip. If you do not agree, he will frown, and you will appear at your front door with the same sheath with the rapier in it. This form of the rapier can only be drawn when the time for reunion comes. The empty sheath, however, will call the holder to your side at any time you may need him. He will allow you to use his sword in future trials where he sees its use fair. When the time of reckoning comes, he will be your greatest and most powerful ally. He is the only one able to slay the holder on horseback. Do not rely too greatly on the sword's power, for it is the holder who controls it, and he desires fairness above all else. This is the divine rapier. It is the only thing that can truly destroy him and them. It is that which has been made to allow a fair chance in the cataclysm to come with their reunion. The way in which it will reunite with Legion is unknown, but it is inevitable. Have a hand upon its hilt when it begins.